Hey everybody, Deb Tomorrow Realtor here with another new listing. This one's really uh, unique and interesting, so I'm excited to show it to you, but look how cute that front porch is. It's like a 30 foot long front porch, like covered front porch. It's very Americana, um, which I think is uh, very appropriate for being listed the day after the 4th of July. So come on in and take a look. So this home was technically built in the 50s, I believe, but everything was rebuilt from the foundation up in 2007. So it really lives like a newer home. Everything is you know, new since 2007, including the roof um, and siding and all the interior finishes and everything you'll see as we walk through. Um, the home is also in excellent condition. The sellers have been working for a year. Um, you know, over time, they did a pre-listing inspection last year, just anticipating moving sometime this year and have done all the things that the inspection report recommended. The foundation has been inspected by a structural engineer. So that's in great shape too. Uh, so you really should be able to move in and not have any worries. But what makes this house really interesting is that there's actually a separate apartment behind it. So let's go in and I will show you. I did want to take a quick shot of this front porch because it's really wide too. I mentioned how long it is, but it's also really wide. So um, the way the house is set up is that there's an apartment or an in-law suite in the back with a pretty large backyard. Um, so if you were, say, using this as an income producing property where you lived in the front and then the, you rented out the apartment in the back, you'd still have great space here in front to have outdoor living uh, and you could give your tenant in back some privacy. If you just need a single family home, that uh, could be done as well. You just remove some kitchen cabinets and you've got great space. So um, let's go inside and I'll show you what I mean. Here we are in the main section of the home, 202 West Dewey in Ellettsville. Let me talk real quick about the location too because it is just a couple blocks from downtown Ellettsville which has the post office and the library and there's that new barbecue joint, Fine Street Barbecue I think is what it's called, um, that I've heard rave reviews about. So it's a nice location for being able to kind of walk to some things, um, but uh, also very convenient to Westside, Ivy Tech, IU, Spencer, whatever you need. So nice location for that. This is the main living room. And then as we go through there, we'll go through there is the kitchen. And then there are two bedrooms and a full bath down here. This closet right here is laundry hookup. There is a separate laundry. That back apartment that I'm gonna show you is fully inclusive. Like it has its own dishwasher, full kitchen, dishwasher, washer and dryer, whole thing. Um, could be great Airbnb. Here's one of the bedrooms. You can see newer windows, ceiling fans in the bedrooms. And this is a nice size bedroom. Again, ceiling fans laminate flooring in here and then this bathroom very fresh and updated Let me flip the light on here i love this vanity i think this is really cool you've got good storage underneath some cabinets there tub showers all in excellent condition you've got some shelving and then you've got a linen closet here there's also Back by the front door, there's some built-ins and then there's a coat closet as well. So good storage there. Now come check out this kitchen because it's pretty nice. Um, there we go. So it's really good space, but the appliances are amazing. Look at this, like a five burner gas. I love this. And then you've got a built-in microwave above, double ovens. Just good cabinet space all around. Nice stretches of countertop. Everything is just really well uh, thought out. All these fun little cabinets, you know, for can or spice storage. Got Lazy Susans, who doesn't love a Lazy Susan? Um, and then pull out shelves there. Oops, so. Yeah, great use of space for sure. This door right here goes down to a full unfinished basement that actually walks out as well. Um, it is unfinished. I'll show you the walkout from downstairs, but the furnace and water heater are down there as well. So good storage, potentially could finish that space off. 
And then you've got another family room, living room, dining room. What do you need the space for? It can be pretty much anything. I know that the current owners did use it as dining space from time to time uh, when they needed a big dining room table, um, but it could be a second family room. And then it has an access to a side deck. So this house actually has three decks. So the big porch, covered porch in front, there's a side deck right here, which would be great for some morning coffee. And I'm gonna walk around the outside of the house so you can see too. Uh, and then there's a small deck off the back for the apartment. And then this door right here is open, but this is what would close off. I'll show you, kind of show you what it's like. So this closes off, locks, but it also opens to the apartment space. Now again, if you didn't need this apartment space, you could just remove these cabinets and you would just have another living room space. Um, but it's great if you have, need that in-law suite or boomerang child. And you can see it's a full kitchen with everything that you need. Good cabinet space down there. Room for us, couch, TV. And then this goes into a bath with a shower. And then also stackable washer and dryer. Can't get far enough away to show, but stackable washer and dryer as well. And then a bedroom with double closets. And then that goes out to um, the backyard, which you can see is very nice size. And there's parking in the back, and there's also parking in the front. So uh, if you were using this again as an income producing property, everybody could kind of have their own separate parking space. Uh, all right, let's go outside and take a look around. Here's a little bit of a view of the outside. There's my car park. There's, that's definitely too wide. Comes in off of Dewey Street up there but it also can pull straight through, which is super convenient. And then I promised I would show you the side deck. Let's see, there's a little bit better shot. So this is the side deck coming off of that dining room, living room. That window right there is the kitchen window. And then this door down here is where the basement walks out. And then coming back around the side, it's about a third of an acre. It's a good size lot. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of space if you wanted to build a garage or something like that. But there's other parking area. Again, you can get at least two more cars here. So if you were renting out the back, plenty of space. And then here's the back deck and the back entrance the apartment space. So come check it out. I love all of the possibilities and the condition of this house. I think these are some, there's some great things going on and I'd love for you to see it.